Carry On is a true story of resilience, redemption, and an unlikely family. It follows the paths of three very different people, people of different races, cultures, ages, ability levels, and spiritual backgrounds. And it shows what happens at the unlikely intersection of those three lives. I am one of them. I spent the bulk of my career as a broadcast journalist telling stories of inspiration. One day I came across a newspaper photo of two high school athletes from the Midwest. With it was a short story explaining how Leroy Sutton, a double amputee, had lost both of his legs in a childhood train accident. He could often be found riding on the back of his best friend, D'Artagnan Crockett, who was legally blind. Together they attended a high school with a graduation rate of less than 40%. Well, I was gripped by their photo. I just wondered how life brought them together, where they were going, how much they were carrying, and what I could learn from them. So I hopped a flight to Ohio that very morning to find them. I quickly learned that their lives were even more difficult than I had anticipated. Their parents battled substance abuse issues and were not involved in their daily lives. Both boys had suffered deep loss, trauma, and homelessness throughout their lives. And yet, they combated their dire circumstances and their disabilities with this cheerful, contagious sort of friendship. These were boys who had held on to big dreams despite all they had endured, and people were drawn to them as a result, just as I was. And I knew that this was a story I needed to share with the world. As I filmed my feature story on their remarkable friendship, I grew to understand the depth of the suffering they had endured, and how their futures were limited by abject poverty and missing life skills. I also grew to understand the bigger picture better. Being poor and being homeless has less to do with running out of money and everything to do with running out of useful, committed relationships. I wanted to give these boys the chances they deserved and to soothe their pain with love. And so I broke journalistic code and I became personally involved. In the years that followed, the three of us worked tirelessly to navigate their path to self-sufficiency. Their school and athletic pursuits, broken hearts, phantom limbs, and the bewildering obstacles that nearly sunk us at every turn. Carry On is a story of how we went from producer and subjects to mother and sons, from survivors to victors. On the surface, there is very little about the three of us that goes together. I am white, they are black. I'm upper class, they were born into poverty. I'm Ivy League, they're urban educated. I'm physically whole, they have challenges. Never mind the 15 year age and culture gap. We had every excuse for why we couldn't connect. But instead we stayed and we forged community in one another. We found that the power of our whole was greater than the sum of our different parts. And moreover, we became a family. And as a result of that support, Leroy and D'Artagnan's potentials began to bloom. Who they have become today and what they have achieved will blow you away. Carry On is a book that truly appeals to everyone. It will inspire those up against long odds and those wanting to become agents of change. For mothers, for teenagers, for men just looking for a good underdog sports story. It's a book that examines issues of poverty, of education, of disability. It's a portrait of how racial and socioeconomic unity are achievable when the love of Christ is at the forefront. Above all, it shows us that you can change the world when you enter into another's world.